network for, uh, for water is super important because the different phenomenology affecting uh, water change is distributed on a wide area. So local studies are highlighted by the just the phenomenology happening in this location. So without network, there is no efficient water study. If I start today, I think the first thing. I would have done differently would be that to contact my collab collaborators much earlier and to try to set the administrative solutions to the administrative challenges much earlier. M most of the scientists and engineers, they tend to focus on the science and forget about the business and managerial aspect of the project and they take care of it later, but that's a mistake. I mean, if you don't have a strong foundation uh, in your business, uh, in the planning, business planning, then it affects the science and engineering later. Uh, water science is very diversified. It has different aspects that I'm dealing with one of them, potentially is the science and engineering, but there's social economic aspects and there is the governmental aspect. But one of the most and key important aspects you take from this conference is that how these different people need to, to communicate to make the water issues really something important for the communities. People take water for granted because they open the tap and they find water. And it's not that granted anymore in the future. And we have to live with this fact. <music>